Forget flying to space or cruising in a fancy submarine. Billionaires are upping the luxury game. Apocalypse bunkers? That's right, death and taxes might be inevitable, but some super rich folks are hedging their bets against the end times. We all try to avoid thinking about the inevitable, that whole lights out scenario, but what if a giant asteroid came hurtling towards Earth, or a nuclear winter forced us underground? Enter the doomsday preppers, those folks who are always ready for anything, with stockpiles of beans and a survivalist mindset. But these aren't your average basement dwelling preppers. We're talking about billionaires with the resources to build insane luxury bunkers that most of us could only dream of, or wouldn't even want to dream of depending on your perspective. Forget dirt floors and canned beans, these are underground palaces with all the trimmings. Buckle up because we're about to dive into the world of billionaire bunkers, a world where the ultra wealthy are prepared to wait out the apocalypse style. One notable person, none other than Mark Zuckerberg, the big boss over at Meta. He's currently splurging on a $270 million bunker in Hawaii. It seems like bunkers have become the ultimate status symbol for the ultra rich, but what's driving this obsession with bunkers? Are they gearing up for war, bracing for another pandemic, or maybe even preparing for an apocalypse? It's hard to say for sure, but it's got people wondering if they know something we don't. These bunkers are no joke. They are like self-sustaining fortresses equipped with blast-resistant doors and enough supplies to outlast any crisis. Take Zuckerberg's underground palace in Hawaii, for example. It's 5,000 square feet of luxury survivalism, and it comes with a price tag that will make your eyes water. And Zuckerberg's not the only billionaire getting in on the bunker action. Peter Thiel, the former head of PayPal, tried to build his own bunker in New Zealand, and rumor has it that Bill Gates has secret underground security spots at all his homes. Even though these bunkers cost a pretty penny, with basic models starting at half a million bucks, for billionaires, they're just another extravagant purchase. Speaking of locations, New Zealand seems to be all the rage for bunker enthusiasts, thanks to its remote and secluded nature. This surge in demand has led to a whole industry popping up, offering everything from basic underground bunkers to elaborate island fortresses, complete with moats equipped with flamethrowers. Seriously, it's like something out of a movie. But what's got these super rich so spooked? Despite surviving plenty of global crises, like pandemics and wars, billionaires seem to be playing it safe. Some of these bunkers even come equipped with medical facilities, staffed with nurses and stocked with supplies, turning them into modern-day arcs ready for any disaster. But let's not forget the harsh reality. No matter how fancy their bunkers are, billionaires can't escape death. Despite all their wealth and elaborate preparations, they're just as mortal as the rest of us. It's a reminder that no matter how much money you have, you can't cheat death. Speaking of bunkers, have you heard about the Oppidum tucked away in the rural Czech Republic? This place is like a fortress straight out of a movie. Picture this, high walls, lush forests, and a property spanning a massive 323,000 square feet. It's the epitome of safety. But here's where things get really cool, or should I say underground? The Oppidum boasts a whole underground world, complete with a simulated light garden, spa, swimming pool, cinema, library, and more. It's basically a luxury resort hidden beneath the earth, with a living space spanning a jaw-dropping 75,500 square feet. And get this, it's all controlled from a subterranean command center. Now, getting in isn't exactly a walk in the park. The only entrance is through an underground tunnel secured by a blast door that can be sealed shut in a matter of minutes. Plus, they've got round-the-clock military-style security with heavy-duty weapons, so good luck trying to break in. But here's the kicker. If you're not quite ready to move into the Oppidum, they've got you covered. The company also offers state-of-the-art bunkers and structures that can be delivered straight to your doorstep. Perfect for keeping nosy neighbors out of your business, right? If you're into the idea of luxury fallout shelters where you can enjoy a round of golf while the world outside goes haywire, then Trident Lakes in Ector, Texas is the place for you. Just an hour's drive from Dallas, this private property is like a sports and survivalist paradise. With a hotel, golf course, polo fields, and over 600 condos overlooking the water, it's got everything you need. And of course, it's not skimping on the survival essentials either. Underground bunkers, armed security, and a secure perimeter wall are all part of the package. Plus, there's even a DNA vault if you're feeling extra cautious about preserving your genetic legacy. Now, if you're a billionaire, eyeing Europa 1 as your doomsday getaway, I've got some news for you. 
it's invite only, and those invites have already been sent out. Located in an old Cold War bunker in Germany, Europa 1 is hailed as the largest and safest bunker for survival in the world. It can handle everything from nuclear blasts to biological chemical attacks, earthquakes and even falling planes. Each chamber was up for grabs at a mere $5 million, and once purchased, owners could customize their space to their heart's content. Meanwhile, in the heart of Kansas, there's the Survival Condo, a high-tech bunker hidden within the shell of an old Atlas missile silo. Built to withstand nuclear missile launches, this bunker is anything but ordinary. It's got communal spaces, a pet park, an arcade, a pool, a climbing wall, and even a hydroponic gardens. And if you're in the mood for some entertainment, there's a cinema and a bar down below. If your taste leans towards plastic trees, faux rocks, and underground murals of majestic wildlife and landscapes, then the underground house in Las Vegas is tailor-made for you. Constructed during the Cold War era, this 15,000 square foot home is a quirky retreat from the chaos of the outside world, featuring adjustable lighting to mimic the post-apocalyptic atmosphere, twinkling stars adorning the ceiling, and even a dance floor, because hey, it's Vegas, dancing is a way of life. This underground abode is a testament to the owner's penchant of extravagant living. Complete with two hot tubs, a sauna, a full stocked bar and a barbecue grill, it's clear that the builder intended to go out with a bang. With celebrity endorsements from the likes of Imagine Dragons and Junior Calypso, not to mention a feature in the Netflix special, this unique property has garnered quite a bit of attention. And for a mere $18 million, it can be yours. That is, if you're ready to seize the opportunity. With that said, if you're someone who appreciates quaint charm, you'll find Trublance Road right up your alley. Nestled in the picturesque town of Mitzley, Essex in the UK, this road hides a fascinating history as a Cold War nuclear bunker. Originally designed as a bomb-proof communications hub for safeguarding the town in case of attack, the 10,000 square foot property has since undergone a remarkable transformation. Once serving as a museum, the bunker has been reimagined into three luxurious apartments, each boasting modern amenities and elegant touches. Despite their humble origins, these homes offer a blend of comfort and sophistication, featuring contemporary kitchens, Italian marble bathrooms, and shared access via a common atrium. While the lack of amenities like a climbing wall or golf course may debtor some, the charm of Shrublands Road lies in its rich history and tranquil surroundings. With prices starting at a reasonable £1.4 million, these homes offer a unique opportunity to own a piece of Cold War-era architecture, the touch of modern luxury. In the end, the billionaire's obsession with bunkers serves as a humbling reminder that money can't buy immortality. Despite their best efforts to shield themselves from the unknown, the super-rich are still vulnerable to the same fate as the rest of us. It's a sobering thought in a world where wealth and power seem to reign supreme. And that's a wrap for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. Before we sign off, let's reflect on the diverse range of underground shelters and bunkers we've just explored. From lavish survivalist resorts like Trident Lakes to repurposed Cold War era bunkers like Shrublands Road, each offers a unique glimpse into humanity's fascination with preparedness for the unknown. What drives the world's wealthiest individuals to invest millions in these underground sanctuaries? Is it a genuine concern for global catastrophes, a desire for ultimate security and privacy, or perhaps just another indulgence in extreme wealth? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to suggest topics for future videos. Until next time.